<laughs> my, my team is totally responsible for that. It's probably one of the most organized feed rooms you'll, you'll see um, for horses. And you know we have we have supplements and and everything you can imagine to to help have my horses be at their best. And then uh, across the way these are sort of the wash bays for the. I think it's cleaner and I also think it's safer. Um, and then the walker is back there. All of the horses we'll, go on the on the walker every we'll, day. Yeah, sure. You have the <laughs> exercise side. Gorgeous. Hi. So I, I'm, I'm sure some of you have, uh, have have read before. When I first started riding, I actually wanted to be a to be a jockey. I wanted to race, and I wanted to do steeplechase. Um, so I, I still love to gallop on horses, and I have a galloping track around my property, and that's one of my favorite places to ride. I think it's really refreshing for the horses to get out of a, a small arena yeah. and uh, I think it's a great way to improve their fitness and so my horses that aren't showing like Voyeur and Giuseco, this is sort of where I leg them up for the for the rest of the year. They spend a lot of time on the track getting ready for the, for the summer season. Um, I designed it over here for paddocks and this is sort of the, the place where all my horses come to just, just detox a little bit from uh, from a heavy competition schedule. Um, and I have a second arena sort of for training a more competition course that I don't use all the time. Um, the one at home I, I use for smaller exercises and, and more controlled exercises and over here is more course training for, for students and, and for my young horses. Or my, my vision and and what was aesthetically best was first what's what's Functional. best for the horse, right? And uh, and how to design it around around that. So I really wanted to do it myself. You know, I, I grew up grew up riding all the time and working horses, and I always had an idea of how to how could I do this better, or how could I make it better for the horses. And so that was really the sort of the foundation of the design. Uh, Were you actually a jockey? No, I used to race ponies. Right, okay. Um, and then I, I actually, I was at a steeplechase and I did the pony race and I met with one of the steeplechase jockeys. Oh yeah. And he more or less convinced me that it was incredibly dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> and, sure. uh, and so that kind of steered me away. Right. And, and believe it or not, I'm actually too big to okay. really be a jockey. I'd have to really go light. I'd have to lose. <laughs> Even for steeplechase? Yeah. I mean, no, not for, not maybe people. for steeplechase, but yeah. for flat racing, yeah, 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 I'd be yeah, yeah. 30 pounds too heavy, really? so yeah, right. yeah, 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 I'd really have to, yeah, you'd be have to lean up, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I could do it. No. Have your model. Oh, okay. Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, no problem. I grew up in Chicago, in the city, downtown. And I saw a picture of my mom sitting on a horse. I think I was eight years old. And I, I decided that I wanted to start riding horses. I don't really know why. So, uh, yeah, I saw a picture of her sitting on a horse in like a Western saddle or something. And so we went to the carriage stable. And I started taking lessons once a week at the, at the carriage shop. I think uh, anybody that really excels in a, in a sport or in a field is, is in some ways always a student of their sport or their field because they're always, they're always looking to improve. And one thing that's unique about our sport is that you can do it for a, for a long time. So if you plan to have a career that's going to span 30 years, I think you always have to have an open mind and, and be willing to learn and constantly looking to improve in order to stay current in a sport. Who's your favorite horse to ride? <coughs> My favorite? You know, I don't know that I have a particular favorite. Um, one thing that I think is really unique about our sport is that the, the horses are all individuals, you know, and they all have their own personalities and idiosyncrasies about how to how to make them go their best, and and it's our job as a as a rider and as a manager to be able to adapt and change in order to maximize the potential of, of every horse. So, 
I, I really enjoy that challenge as, as part of the sport more than, um, you know, that I, I prefer one horse or the other. I, I really enjoy the challenge of all the horses being different. And which one has been the hardest to... The hardest? Yes. Uh, well, the hardest, I, I probably never never accomplished anything with them because I, I probably couldn't get them to, to do it. Um, but, you know, I think Voyeur was a challenge. You know, he was, he was very strong and, and extremely hot. You know, he had a lot of blood, so it took, it took me a long time to really be able to harness all of that energy. Um, but in, inside of there was a, was a tremendous performer. And I'd, I'd say to date, that's probably been, you know, one of the most difficult and also one of the most rewarding horses that I've worked with in my career. Uh, no, I, I don't think so. I don't, I don't really think about it. I, I'm, I'm always looking to the future, and so I look at the, at the empty spaces on the wall, and I try to imagine what I want to fill them. <laughs> and can you tell us, like, why you put it there? And uh, what you... <laughs> I think we put it there because it looks pretty cool. Yeah. I mean, it's a unique shot of, of a water dump there at, at Calvary, and that's one of my favorite venues, so yeah. um, good, good office shot anyway. Yeah.